What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about Notch's brand new game that he's actually working on. So I know a few days ago I actually uploaded a video talking about this brand new game. However though we got some brand new information and news regarding Notch's brand new game that he's been working on for some time now as well as some crazy developments that he's been announcing. So anyways I hope you guys can stick to this video and really enjoy if you guys are excited about Notch's new game let me know by leaving a like on today's video let's see how many likes we can actually get as well as comment below in the comment section if you guys are excited or you're not excited let me know in the comment section I want to hear more from you guys so I know if you guys are excited if you guys are interested in Notch's brand new game I will definitely still cover it on my channel because I know a lot of you guys are quite interested to see what the future Future holds for Notch. Today, I want to talk to you guys about some of the themes that his new game could actually be, as well as share some brand new information that we just discovered. Just a few days ago, he actually revealed some really crazy, groundbreaking news. A lot of, for like, I guess, like if you guys play Minecraft on your mobile devices, or if you guys play Minecraft on your phones, I'm sure you guys are kind of interested in what's coming up. For Notch. However, though, just like how Minecraft was originally developed, his new game will not be on mobile for the initial release, which is kind of interesting. So, anyways, someone actually asked Notch, they said, This game they're developing, is it going to be available? in mobile devices as well and Notch actually responded said probably not for a few reasons so he upgraded to WebGL2 which will take ages to reach mobile also to the engine that's running the game is using some fragment shaders so essentially it will take a lot of RAM to actually process the game so essentially the first build whatever build he's doing whatever game he's working on most likely won't be on the mobile device, which is kind of shocking if you guys ask me. Simply because the mobile game market is just gigantic, it's constantly just blowing up and there's a lot of awesome new apps that are easily available for people to download across the world. However though, the more I thought about this, this makes a lot of sense. Notch, of course, started Minecraft using, I guess, Java, which was on the computer, and he clearly had no idea he was going to actually make that game on a mobile phone. Clearly, Pocket Edition was unheard of when Minecraft initially came out. But if you actually think about it a little bit harder, the whole reason why Notch left Minecraft was of course because it got too big, it got out of his hand, and that makes complete sense. Why would Notch make a new game that would be like easily available and accessible to a lot of people at once? He does not want that. I made a video a few weeks ago talking about this, some of the reasons why Notch quit Minecraft and sold Minecraft of course to Microsoft was because the game got way too big and it just got out of his hands. He did not like that huge huge game that was in his hands like he didn't want the responsibility of it so of course he got rid of it by selling it to Microsoft so this makes complete sense he wants to make a game obviously pretty low key so he would not make it on mobile if he really wanted this game to get a huge outreach of course he'd make it on mobile and of course he'd make it a mobile game but that is not his intention a lot of people just think that notch just made minecraft well he actually made some other games as well some of the most noticeable ones is Worm Online, Drowning in Problems, Shamble, as well as Drop. These games are pretty interesting, and to be honest, they're quite different from Minecraft. So this kind of exposes that even though Notch is working on this brand new, like, Earth-like type of game, it does not mean it's going to be a building block game simply because every game he's ever created seems to have a very different taste and a very different outlook on the game itself. I was actually 
fortunate to actually go ahead and play some of these old games that he actually created. Some of them are pretty entertaining, if you guys ask me. And if you guys, of course, are big Minecraft fans and you guys are kind of worried, you know, like maybe this new game he's going to be working on is is going to be like up to minecraft standards or maybe if you guys maybe aren't even into minecraft and you prefer like fps games uh, then there's actually hope for you because if you guys did not know notch actually created an fps game which is pretty crazy called shambles and this game is pretty interesting it's kind of interesting because it's like a zombie type of shooter here and i have to say i played it for a little bit and it was pretty fun for how basic of a game it was essentially you just have to run around and, uh, and attack zombies and try to survive for as long as you can while collecting points so clearly notch has i guess some consideration of other types of like genres in the gaming industry but regardless though we actually did some really research into Notch and we found out what his favorite game was which kind of correlates to Minecraft in a way so anyways Notch's favorite game is Dungeon Master 2 obviously it could have changed like from now in that article was written but his favorite game is Dungeon Master 2 it's kind of interesting I never personally played the game but doing some research into it it's kind of like a medieval like, dragon dungeon game if you would say which is kind of interesting so it's very similar to how minecraft is kind of looked and seen by some players but looking at the game as a whole i mean you guys can see based on some of the images and some of the gameplay of like videos we've been seeing from notch's new game it could be set in those like prehistoric like i guess medieval times or just like an old type of game you know it wouldn't be futuristic as we know because i feel like notch just is not into futuristic types of games but regardless though it does make a lot of sense based on some of the like pictures and videos he's actually posted and it's kind of weird too because he hasn't really been posting a lot of new screenshots and gameplay it seemed like he was a lot more excited a few weeks ago than he is now. But January 30th, he actually posted something kind of interesting regarding his new project as well as Minecraft. So anyways, someone actually asked him a question. They said, do you actually think of Minecraft now that is nearly 10 years when it first became playable? He says, I'm very happy with it. I've been getting a lot of questions about a potential follow-up now when I've been posting some pics of my current render project thing and it made me realize all over again how passionate people are about it. I'm honored and happy. He followed up and said, The real answer to that, by the way, is actually no, but only mostly. I'm not really interested in making sequels or to recreate what once was. And when I sold it to Microsoft, I didn't just sell the name, it's genuinely theirs now. But I guess my games have some similar feel with the question mark. So after seeing that question, or I guess comment if you would say, you guys can tell that Notch is completely done with Minecraft. He doesn't want to recreate it or try to resurface his creation again with the current developments with Microsoft. So he's completely leaving that um, up to Microsoft. But the biggest question that he's actually saying and, and some of the biggest, I guess, concerns that I'm actually kind of seeing based on this tweet is he says that he guesses my, his games have some similar feels to it. So does that mean his new project that he's working on feels very similar to how Minecraft is played? I'm not quite sure guys, based on some of the older games he's actually made, they didn't really seem to relate to any Minecraft related type of like feel to it. Just, just, I guess based on what I've been playing and what I've been seeing, I feel like Minecraft was its like really own thing and if of course this new game has a similar feel to what Minecraft does, it will be kind of interesting. Once again, Notch claims that it's not Minecraft related, but it does have a similar feel. So I guess we can only conclude that whatever project he's working on right now, I feel like maybe if you guys like Minecraft, you guys might 
like his new project simply because it has a similar feel. But based on what we've been seeing so far, and based on all the information I've been giving you guys, we have to keep in mind that this game, of course, will not be able to run on mobile devices. It's not going to be like Notch develops a new game, it gets released, and then we can play it on like the Pocket Edition, we could play it on Xbox, PlayStation, it's not going to be like that at all because we don't even know if he's going to even end up releasing this project. It could just be something he's just working on the side just to keep himself busy and to keep his mind like going, but he might not ever release this thing. He never wants to get our hopes up that of course he's going to be releasing this brand new project. And if he does, if he ends up releasing this brand new project, if it's like a Minecraft type of feel to it, it could be years, absolutely like years before we see this thing even get put on mobile phones or on our Xboxes, Playstations. It could just be a game developed for the computer for the first five years of its life style. Like, style. And if that even, I guess, like matters, if that game will even be around by the time that someone will want to port it over to a mobile device, uh, you know, it, it could take a long, long time. So, kind of just to wrap things up, based on what we've been seeing so far, clearly Notch does not want this game to go mainstream, whatever project he's working on. He wants to keep it to himself and, and share it to a small niche of people. And he's just, I guess, not concerned at all with the with the reach i mean clearly he's like a billionaire he doesn't need like money he's not trying to actually like sell his game for a profit obviously it's almost best to because sometimes i feel like some people like make games just to like make money of course but he's pretty set so i mean he's at this point he's just making this game for fun and when you have a lot of fun making something obviously you're gonna have like the best product available. If you really like your like product, you're going to make the best it can possibly be. So with that being said though, I'm kind of interested in the comment section. Let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested. Would you guys want to try out Notch's new game? Personally, I would. I think it'd be pretty cool. Regardless, if it's similar to Minecraft or it's completely different to Minecraft, we could be right, we could be wrong. But regardless, though, it'd be kind of cool to play something that Notch created as well. But anyways, though, my name is True Triz. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. We'll definitely catch you guys later on. If you guys want me to do some more follow-up information and news, some of the crazy stuff I find about Notch's new game, or even find some gameplay where I can actually play this game, I'll post it on the channel if you guys want me to. But anyways, so my name is True Trez. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch y'all later. Have a great day. Stay true. Peace.